Okay, and the last robot in this mini series of five robots you should build is going to be the Typhon. So a lot of players actually got this right. Um, a couple of you mentioned uh, the Kepri, the Scorpion, uh, Invader, uh, the Raven as well. Those are all really good choices, by the way. Uh, but I think what uh, kind of sets the Typhon apart is the Blackout ability. So the Typhon's very versatile in that it can be played close range, medium, and long range. Uh, but the Blackout ability is a whole nother story because... Uh, for example, you know, the Typhon versus the Archie Okachi, if, uh, you know, this was to hit the Archie Okachi with the Blackout ability, the Archie Okachi can't actually charge you because you've disabled it. Uh, it can't heal up, it can't go into phase shift, um, it's been locked down or suppressed depending on, you know, what modules it has. Um, at that point, uh, that's the window of opportunity for you to attack. And, you know, the Typhon can do a lot of damage, uh, you know, in a couple of seconds. Uh, having four medium weapons, uh, that's no jokes. And you'll see that in the gameplay when we get to it. Uh, so that's the reason why I picked the uh, Typhon. Very versatile. Um, it can deal with the current meta, also future meta, uh, you know, based on its ability. So that's why I kind of, uh, you know, went with the Typhon. Okay, so we're going to be taking a look at a number of different builds here. I have four in mind. Uh, all of these builds, or at least the weapons, can be built through Workshop. Um, the Havoc build, uh, the Mace, uh, Igniters, and also the Hazard. And for each one, I'm going to go through the modules. Uh, also, what I would use in terms of the drone and the pilot skills. Okay, so the first build I have here is the Havoc build. And I would say this is probably my favorite of the bunch. Uh, these weapons are so deadly when it comes to dealing with tanks. You know, tanks being any kind of robot with a lot of health and resistance. Uh, those would be like your Fenrir's, Invaders, Archo Kochis. Uh, you should see what kind of damage this can do to an Archo Kochi. And it happens so fast too. Um, it's pretty insane. So in terms of modules, I do have two nuclear amplifiers, uh, more just so I can reach the 95 stacks quicker. Uh, these weapons don't charge up nuclear amps very quickly, so using two uh, really helps it uh, in terms of damage. Um, I do have a last stand on here, advanced repair. You could use unstable conduit. And uh, in terms of the drones, um, I really like the Kestrel. Uh, Beak would be another one. And maybe the Shy. I know some players use the Armadillo. But for me, I want to go like pure damage. So Kestrel, uh, Beak, and then Shy would be uh, kind of like a double last stand thing. You could also try White Art. Okay, so White Art, uh, this would be even more annoying. Like if an Archer Kachi got near you and this EMPs him, and then you hit them with a Blackout ability, you could imagine uh, what kind of uh, damage you can do with that. So yeah, those are just a couple of options, uh, you know, for the players building uh, this specific build. Uh, in terms of the pilot, um, I would definitely go with the River Chase. The River Chase, I think, in my opinion, is the best pilot uh, for the Typhon at this point in the game. So a couple of skills here. And if you do use uh, the Havoc, make sure you use Sharpshooter as well. Okay, so that helps as well. And uh, yeah, we're going to take a look at some gameplay here of this. And then we're going to move on to the next build. Okay, so I want you guys to see what and witness what this thing can do. Just hold on a second here. Watch this. Watch this. He's dead. And the thing is, like, if I had my blackout ability and he dropped in here, I could kill him again. Okay, so we have another Archo Kachi here. I'm going to try to see if I can stay alive. I did hit him once. Uh, my last uh, stand has been triggered, but I think his ability has ended. And there goes the second one. We got him. Might as well take this guy out too. Okay, so they have a couple of players back here on this side. I think this one guy is... Okay, so I think I got him. I got him. So he can't use any kind of heals at this point. And he's dead. That is how quickly you can kill an Archo Kachi with this. This build, it's just ruthless. I think they're going to drop in on this side, right? Okay, so I did hit this guy. Uh, let's see. I think his ability is over, right? Okay, we got him again. Okay, so the next build I have here is the Mace build. This build's very good at knocking down Aegis shields. Um, if you're dealing with other Typhons, Mars, Erebus, uh, even the Dagon, you know, these weapons can knock down shields pretty quickly. Um, I do have two nuclear amplifiers last stand. Uh, you could also try uh, one nuclear amplifier with two repair amps or one nuclear amplifier with uh, immune amps. Uh, those work as well. We have advanced repair. I have the shy drone on here. 
uh, pretty much what I mentioned with the Havoc build. So like Kestrel, Beak, uh, you know, White Art, I guess could work as well. The Shy. And in terms of the pilot, uh, River Chase once again. And, you know, all the pilot skills are the same except for this one here. I do have Sharpshooter for the Mace. Okay, so we're going to take a look at some gameplay now of this build. And then we're going to move on to the next build, which is going to be the Igniter build. That's doing a decent amount of damage, but we have to deal with this guy here too. He's going to go in a flight. Let's just do that. We almost have him. Good thing I have the Shy on here. There we go. Got him. So he can't go in a flight because I hit him with the blackout ability. I'm not sure what this guy is in. What is that? Okay, so we are dealing with an Afi and we got to be careful of this one here. Let me just go to uh, this side. Oh jeez, we're dealing with two of them. Okay, let's see if we can try to get this one here. There we go. The scorpion. He's dead. If he drops in here, I'm going to hit him with the blackout. Actually, let's hit this guy. He's dead. Let's go this way. I can kill that guy there. There we go. I hit the uh, I hit this um, the links. Can we get him? I don't know. That's close. We got him. Nice. Uh, he's gonna take on quite a bit of damage. I think he's gonna charge me. Hold on. Let's just move this way. I'm gonna take out their Typhon first, just in case. And I'm gonna hit this guy with the blackout ability, so he can't use any kind of heal right now. And if you got like sonic weapons, he's gonna take on a ton of damage. There we go. Got him. Okay, so they have another one on that right side. I think this guy's also an Archokachi, based on his health bar. Let's hit this guy. He can't go into flight. There he goes. Let's move this way. Gotta be careful of uh, the Sophian here. I'm gonna use my heal. And then we're going to hit him now. There we go. Got him. There we go. Got him too. What is this guy in? They're dropping a lot of bots over here. So one thing I forgot to mention, the Typhon uh, Aegis Shield actually wraps around the Typhon. So for them to do damage to me, they need to knock the shield down in order to uh, do that damage. There we go. Living Legend. I'm trying to get around the corner here. There we go. Another Living Legend this guy blackout ability okay so the next build i have here is the igniter build this builds very deadly to any kind of robot with a physical shield uh, flames bypass physical shields and they also charge up the nuclear amplifier a lot faster uh, so i only have one nuclear amplifier for this build uh, two repair amps uh, again you could use two immune amps uh, or a combination of those uh, even the last stand uh, advanced repair i have the paralysis this is going to help with these flames. Um, you know, sometimes uh, it can be hard to kind of control uh, the flamethrowers, um, especially for newer players. Uh, so this might be a drone you want to consider if you have it. Um, you know, other drones that you want to try out, uh, Kestrel, Beak, uh, any kind of damage drones, uh, the Shy can work. Um, I guess White Art to some degree, uh, but I would stick with the damage drones uh, if you can. Uh, the Paralysis is really the best one, I think, uh, of the bunch. And uh, in terms of the skills, I pretty much have everything the same. Uh, the one skill I did switch out, we have Dodger this time around. This is going to allow me to heal uh, faster. So the cooldown is shorter with that. And uh, yeah, we're going to take a look at some gameplay now, you know, of this Igniter build. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to lock him down. Okay, so we have locked him down. He is taking a decent amount of damage. Another guy behind me. 
Let's hit him with the blackout ability. There we go. Yeah, the key is that blackout ability because when like an archer kachi charges, so I'm trying to actually lock this guy down, so we're gonna be careful of this one over here. When his ability ends, that's when I'm gonna hit him. Okay, we're gonna hit him now. Watch this. And he's gone. And that is with flames. Although I think, you know, sonic weapons would have done far more damage. Let's hit this guy. Got him as well. And I believe we can get him, right? There we go. Okay, so this guy's gone into flight. We know what that guy is in. Someone just moved through this side. Let's try to help out my teammate. There we go. Oh, we got a Fenrir. Okay, that's not good. He's going to do a lot of damage to me. I got to hit him with the, uh, the blackout ability. There we go. Maybe this guy here as well. He doesn't see me yet. Can we roast him up? There we go. I think I hit... Did I hit this guy? I didn't hit this guy. He's got shield breaker though, so I have to kind of be careful. Trying to get those flames in. Can we get... Can we get another kill? Maybe? I don't know. That was kind of close. This guy's probably going to end up killing me. He's got the build that I'm going to be uh, showcasing next. Woo! What is this guy in? Man, they're hitting me with like orbital strikes and everything here. Oh, jeez. We got him. Yes, nice. These guys are attacking our uh, spawn. Let's try to get this guy. Locking his shield down. Man, that's a lot of tanks. Wow. Okay, let's try to maybe get this Fenrir here. I think I'm going to end up going down there. There's a lot of players here. If we can get another kill, that would be nice. Yes, nice. And that guy... Oh, I think I got him. I got him with the, uh, the Blackout ability. Okay, and the last build I have here is the Hazard build. Now, one thing I did want to mention, because I was going through the workshop, and I noticed we can't build the Hazard weapons. Uh, for some reason, I thought we could build it, but at the time of this recording, um, it's not in the workshop. Uh, but these weapons might be, uh, you know, weapons that you want to consider for your type on if you are looking for that mid-range build. So these weapons have a range of 600 meters, uh, three second reload time. Also, the third shot hits harder. Okay, so that's key with this build. And it's very deadly, especially with the River Chase Pilot. So we have two nuclear amplifiers last stand. You want to make sure that you amplify that damage early on uh, with this kind of build. Uh, advanced repair. I have the Kestrel drone. Uh, other drones you could consider. Uh, the Beak, also Shy. Um, we have River Chase uh, Pilot once again. All the skills are the same, except I do have Master Gunsmith. I think the previous build I had Dodger. And uh, those are the skills. So we're going to take a look at some gameplay now of this build. So you can see just how deadly uh, this mid-range build is. I'm trying to actually hit the guy behind him. Okay, so he has used his ability here. Um, my teammate needs to get onto this beacon because I can't actually hold this. Uh, I'm going to hit him with the blackout ability. I think I hit him. There we go. Another one over here. I'm going to hit him with the blackout ability again. Or at least uh, hit him. There we go. Yeah, the range on this is very good. This is one thing I like about it. Where is this guy? There's another guy behind us here. Okay, so let's see if we can try to maybe uh, get this guy with the blackout. There we go. Maybe I can hit this guy here in front. 
Ooh, that... I think I popped his weapon off there. He doesn't look too good. Last stand on him. Try to get the Fenrir. There we go. Nice. Let's try to hit this guy. Ooh. You know what? Um, I hit him with the blackout ability and he's down to his last stand. This player over here. Uh, I'm gonna try... Oh, he blocked. That's a Hades. Let's see if we can try to get him. The damage output of these weapons is kind of crazy. Okay, so we got to be careful here because they have multiple Ocho Kochis on this side. I think one of these guys is. Maybe this one here? Yeah, that's the Ocho Kochi. I think I got him. Yeah, I locked him down. Okay, let's try to hit him now. Ah, come on, look at his health. There we go, nice. I think he's gonna drop in over here though. Is that Amanda? I think that was Amanda. I just saw Amanda jump. <laughs> that looked kind of funny. Okay, we wanna try to hit. Um... I got him with the blackout ability. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough to kill him, though. We're talking about a Minos versus a, a Typhon here. Uh, I can't hit that guy. Let's get him again. One more shot. There we go. Nice. Yeah, these weapons can do a lot of damage. This guy's healing up quite a bit. This is where I need the sonic weapons to deal with the uh, Fenrir. There we go. Okay, so that pretty much concludes my 5 Robots You Should Build series. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the series. I do have links to the other videos uh, from the series in the video description and the pinned comment. And um, I think with that said, thank you guys for watching. Stay safe. And until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.